Tripura Chief Minister Manik Saha convened an emergency meeting late last evening to assess the ongoing flood situation in the state. The meeting was held to evaluate current conditions, the effectiveness of relief measures and the readiness of various departments to handle the crisis. Key officials including the Chief Secretary J.K. Sinha, the Director General of Police Amitabh Ranjan, the Secretary of the Revenue Department Brijesh Pandey and senior officials from the Public Works Department and the Drinking Water and Sanitation Department were present in the meeting. And during the discussions, the Chief Minister emphasized the need for coordinated efforts among all departments to ensure the safety of the affected population and the efficient distribution of relief materials. He instructed the concerned authorities to remain vigilant and responsive to the evolving situation, ensuring that essential services such as health care, drinking water and transportation are maintained without disruption. In the meantime, keeping in view the safety of the students in the current situation, the government has announced a two-day closure for all educational institutions today and tomorrow, while college in the, or colleges in the state will remain closed for today. My colleague Pinaki Das joins us live from Akartala. Pinaki, uh, Chief Minister Manik Saha convened a meeting last night and that indicates that the situation might be uh, more than what uh, we can see on the surface. So what is the current situation going on there? Uh, how is the weather like, Pinaki? See, the situation is worsening. And immediately after coming from New Delhi, the Chief Minister last evening, late in the evening, he had called for an emergency meeting. The situation is worsening as the water level is increasing and it's continuously raining over here. And now with me is an MLA uh, of the BJP, uh, Mr. Tafazal Hussain, who comes from Sipahijala districts. Uh, and he has a long area, a bordering area where farming, uh, most of the people are farmers. So, uh, Mr. Hussain, situation is hai? Kya paristhiti hai abhi Tripura mein? त्रिपुरा में अभी सिचुएशन बहुत बुरा है तीन दिन चार दिन से लगातार बारिश हो रहा है बारिश के वजह से अभी पहाड़ी का पानी जो है ना अभी नीचे आ गया तो आने से बहुत अभी फार्मर जो है साधारण पब्लिक है सब अभी पानी के नीचे आ गया अभी बहुत कैंप भी गवर्नमेंट का तरफ से बना लिया अभी सिटी भी अगरतला सिटी भी पानी के नीचे चले गए अभी गाड़ी चलने चल नहीं सकता है रोड पर हमारा एरिया पर भी इतना पानी है अभी फार्मर जो है ना अभी जैसे पूरा का पूरा पानी के नीचे आ गया जमीन भी खराब हो गया अभी बारी घर भी पानी के नीचे आ गया हमारा एरिया पे काफ़ी लॉस हुआ करोड़ करोड़ रुपये का लॉस हुआ फार्मर से सबसे ज़्यादा लॉस फार्मर को हुआ है तो इसलिए हमारा इधर भी भी एक हादसा हुआ है एक आदमी का मौत हो गया एक आज सुबह एक आदमी नौ से दस बजे तक एक आदमी का मौत हो गया अभी स्लाइड गिर के पहाड़ी की स्लाइड लेंस की स्लाइड गिर के मर गया अभी सिचुएशन बहुत बुराई का तरफ जा रहा है क्योंकि बारिश कंटिन्यू चल रहा है बाकी ऊपर वाला जाने क्या चलेगा क्योंकि अभी सिचुएशन बुरा का बुरा तरफ जा रहा है अभी अभी तक you can hear the MLA uh, is very apprehensive. They say that the situation is worsening because it's continuously raining. And uh, as you know, uh, the government had to even close down all schools and colleges uh, for two days. Uh, today, all schools are closed. Tomorrow, also schools will remain closed. Though uh, in some schools, the morning shift uh, had taken place. But uh, the situation is worsening now in Agartala also. Most of the roads are closed due to water logging. Or, or, and also, at many places, there are... Uh, trees that had fallen on the roads that is um, even I just now I, right now I am in the assembly waiting for Mr. Rajiv Bhattarajee to file his nomination uh, but uh, it will take time for him to come here because that's right when uh, I Pinaki, was right Pinaki, yesterday three members yesterday three members of a family lost their lives due to landslide now uh, it's been three to four days as the minister had stated uh, just now some time ago now what is the intensity what is the scale of impact and uh, what is being done by the government how about the food and other essential supplies see in such a situation the government only can create awareness it is the people, they have to be very cautious and the government has alerted people. Now, when landslip happens, uh, people generally don't apprehend such situation may take place. Yesterday also it was a landslip that had fallen on the mud wall, which had again uh, fallen on, on, on buried three persons of a family who were sleeping. Uh, and, and, and today also what we are hearing, there was a landslip uh, in his area, the MLA had told in his area. Until now, seven person had died yesterday to 
today we have information about two person but that, that has to be yet confirmed and two were also missing yesterday those who were drowned now the situation is uh, going towards the worst because it's, if you can see just behind me it's, it's still raining over here and, and that is what is more uh, worry because the rivers uh, water level will further increase at it will take little time to water to come downstream from the hills but but as the government has cautioned everyone schools are closed people have been cautioned to keep themselves they evacuate to the safer places there have been a lot of relief camps those have been established and government is trying its best but uh, fighting with nature is really tough we have to be worried and climate change is real that is what is proved through this rain uh, untimely rain because at this time of the year the rain is little less but now we find when it was the time for the rainy season that the rain was less but now uh, after uh, so a little deferred we find the rain is so much high and people were not that much prepared for such a rain in such a season that's right Minagi now uh, looking at the visuals that uh, we have accessed from Tripura now it's a worrisome thing happening out there because uh, the area is getting inundated now uh, some of the areas are contaminated and the water is just uh, filled. It's just uh, flooding everywhere. Waterborne disease, there's a high chance of uh, an outbreak of waterborne disease. So what is being done as far as the health of the people is concerned? How about the drinking water? Because that's, a main, uh, that's one of the main concerns. Because with this situation, uh, where will people get uh, uh, clean and uh, clean drinking water? But more than 70% of the houses in Tripura have supply of uh, drinking water and, and the last section is dependent on the under uh, uh, ground water, water that they pump, pump out. In such a situation, a, a places where those who have been under water, they have been shifted to, to, to relief camp where there are arrangements for drinking water, medical facilities and other facilities, food is being supplied by the government. Uh, but this is always a worry and, and moreover, the worry increases when people right. return back to their uh, original homes or, or stay places. Because That's at right, that time, they start using the water uh, which yes. is contaminated due You're to right. the flood. And then the worry increases and then we find a breakdown of uh, diarrhea and other diseases. But well, as of now, well, the government yes, is Pinaki, Yes, Pinaki, that's right. Uh, 